This is Chad Kapodic, Quality Control Manager here at the Daring Banjo Company. Today we'll be discussing how to maintain a good tight head tension. This will keep your instrument sounding bright and alive like it did when you first got it. The head of the banjo is this skin that's stretched tight over the top of the drum. This gives the banjo its unique sound. Traditionally it would have been made out of something like calf skin or goat skin. Nowadays we use synthetics like mylar and different coatings to give the banjo different sounds. One of the main causes of tone loss in a banjo is from a loose sagging head. This can be caused just from the vibrations of the strings when you play it, through the tension of the bridge sitting on the head. Also extreme changes in the climate like heat and humidity can cause the head to loosen up over time. We're going to show you how to tighten the head back up, get it in tune, so all your notes will be well defined and your banjo will sound like new again. In order to tell if your head is sagging and loose and time to get tensioned, well, the first thing I do is I'll take a ruler and measure my string height off the last two frets. Make sure that string is right at an eighth of an inch. As you can tell from this, the strings are a little bit low, which means my head's sagging and I'll need to tighten it to bring the string action back up. Another way to tell is if you hold down all your strings, just keep a light pressure on it so they don't vibrate, and tap your head. Right now I'm getting a nice dull plunk instead of a bright pop, and that's what I really want to look for is that bright pop. So after we're done, you'll hear the difference where the banjo will be a bright pow, and it'll make all of our notes sound just that bright and defined when we play. The tools you need to tighten your head are very simple. First is going to be a T-wrench. This is a 932nd T-wrench. This is used on all of our good time models. Other models that we make will use either a quarter inch, the 932nd, or a 516 inch wrench. All of them are available on our website. We also need a tuner, tune our banjo back up when we're done, and a small ruler or other measuring device so we can measure our string height and make sure we're setting it back up correctly. Now we're going to start tensioning the head. Grab my T-wrench, pick up the banjo. I start on this hook nut and work my way around in a clockwise fashion. Usually I'll go around two, three times and then check where I'm at. We'll start going about a quarter turn at a time and you can listen to that head settle as we're tightening. Once we've gone around once, we need to go around again just to make sure that none of the hooks are loose. You want a nice even feel on each hook nut as you're going through it. Make sure that you're maintaining an even tension and bringing the head down nice and evenly so that you don't have any loose spots in it. Okay, now that I'm done tensioning the head for the first round, I want to go back and see where I'm at. So I'll take my ruler again at the last two frets and I'm sitting right at that eighth of an inch which is perfect exactly where I want it. Again I'll hold my strings down and that hollowness, that plunk has gone away. It's a nice crisp solid note when I hit my head and that's what I'm looking for. Now that I'm there, we've done a good job setting it up. Now we need to go on to tuning it, make sure we're going to get the sound we want. As you tighten the head, it should bring all of your strings a little bit sharp, so you're going to have to tune them down a little bit. And that's because you're raising the action, putting more tension on the strings.
patience you've tightened your head on your banjo now it's going to sound great just like it did when you got it remember you only need a few simple tools a t-wrench on the good times it's a 930 second on our other models it could be a quarter inch or five sixteenths you can get a hold of us we'll help you figure out which one you need you're also going to need a ruler in order to check your action and a tuner to bring it back up to pitch remember as you're tightening your head you may hear small cracks and creaks as the head settles in don't worry it's perfectly normal just remember to take it nice and slow and you won't have any issues after you're done tightening tune it up and enjoy playing your banjo again and for more check us out on our website at daringbanjo.com and we'll see you next time